So in this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to test, I'll do a performance test of PostgreSQL uh, using JMeter. So I'm going to just open PostgreSQL so that you can see how it looks like. In case you don't know, PostgreSQL is a simple, uh, not very simple, but a full-fledged da uh, relational database management system, just like Oracle or MySQL or MSSQL. The good thing about PostgreSQL is that it's very, very easy to set up and use. So if you want to know how to set up PostgreSQL, actually you need to look at the description box of this video and find out another video on how to set, uh, easily set up PostgreSQL. And again, PostgreSQL is very, very, very free. So let me open PostgreSQL and then I show you the table, uh, the database I created and the table, the table in that database we are going to be testing. In case you are joining me for the first time, hit the subscribe button below because when you subscribe, you kind of motivate me to keep making these lessons and also you don't miss any update when an update is made. So please hit the subscribe button uh, below. And also if you have challenges, do let me know. So PostgreSQL opens and my password is root. Um, so, okay, so at this point, you can just go to servers at this point and just go to Postgre, uh, say, okay. So you can, you can see that there are, there are two databases. We have TestDB and we have Postgre, uh, Postgres, all right? Again, take note that there are logins here because when we are going to be doing the test with the, uh, the, the test with JMeter, we need this login. So this login, the user here is Postgres, all right? So, this is the, 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 I've opened the database test DB and go to schemas. You can see a schema, uh, a schema on that public. You have tables and you have a table called telescope data. Again, I'm going to show you how to import data from Excel or CSV into PostgreSQL. All right, so th this is not a PostgreSQL lesson. It's a JMeter lesson, how to do performance testing. So let me open up JMeter. And let's create a test plan and do a performance test of PostgreSQL database. So JMeter opens up at this point. So what you are going to do, the first thing you want to do is to, uh, is to uh, you can call this, give it a name. Let's call it Postgre, Postgre, S, uh, Postgre test plan. Okay, so maybe I'll just maximize the window. So one thing you need to do is to download the PostgreSQL, uh, Postgre JDBC connector. So let me see. So just go to Postgre, uh, PostgreSQL JDBC uh, driver download because you'll need this connector for you to be able to connect JMeter to PostgreSQL, uh, to PostgreSQL. So at this point, you can see a number of drivers there. Um, you have PostgreSQL JDBC 4.2. This one is okay. So just click on it to download it. So it's a JAR file, a very small JAR file. I'm going to say keep. All right, so we have we've downloaded it. So what I'm going to do right now is to go back to JMeter and create in this node here. Meanwhile, if I click on save, it's, it's going to update the name of the test plan to Postgre test plan. So right click on it and say add, add a config element. A config element to give you options, choose JDBC, JDBC connect, uh, connection configuration. So JDBC connection helps you to connect to a database. All right, so give it a name, uh, the variable name for the created pool, Postgre SQL. Let me just call it PG pool, uh, PG pool. All right. Okay, so um, you go down at this point, you can specify the database URL. Now, take note of how I'm going to specify the uh, database URL. It's going to be JDBC colon post gray SQL uh, colon backslash, then you specify the, the, the name of the server, which is at this point 127.0.0.1, 127.0.0.1, and then specify the port. Now there's a, a little confusion about this because it's running at port 56, uh, 
53640. Now, what is running at port 56340 is the GUI application for PostgreSQL. Not actually the database that runs at this port. What runs at this port is the GUI application. The database actually runs on port 5432. The database runs on port 5432. So that's the default port. So you can also use it in your own database. And finally, you are now going to say slash and specify the name of the database. In my case, the name of the database is testdb. The next thing to specify is the driver class. The driver class, if you drop down, you might see it in the list if you are using JMeter, the latest version of JMeter. Uh, I think we can see it in the list. It's org.postgresql.driver. Let's see. org.postgresql.driver. All right. So the username, as I showed you, is postgre, uh, postgre, postgres, okay, and password root, as I used. In case you want to learn more about PostgreSQL, uh, just subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment and tell me this is what you want. You want to learn more about PostgreSQL. I'm going to make maybe a, a full flight, uh, a complete lesson on PostgreSQL. Again, so I'm going to select one. The validation queries, leave it at select one. All right. If I go back to test planner this time, I'm going to select the location of the jar file. The jar file, that is the JDBC driver for, for PostgreSQL. I'm going to uh, specify it at this point. So I should have it in my downloads folder. It should be in my download folder. If I can find downloads, uh, you can see PostgreSQL 42.2.8, the jar. So specify it at that point, all right? So the next thing you want to add is called a sampler. I, no, no, not a sampler, but a, a thread group. So a thread group is simply a way to simulate connection to the database. So let's simulate 10 users connecting to the database, and they are going to be connecting 10 different times. They are going to connect, disconnect, connect, so basically, you are, uh, you are, we are trying to simulate connection, users are logging into this database so that we can see the performance. All right, so um, the next thing we want to do is to specify something called a sampler. So sampler is actually what kind of request are you trying to make to the database? So it's going to be a JDBC request. And the query is going to be select start from because here I specify select statement. There are other statements that we can use. Select star from um, from telescope data. Telescope data. All right. So this is a table in PostgreSQL. That is the name of the table is telescope data. All right. Um, then you specify the name of the pool. Do you remember the name of the pool that we created in the test plan? Um, let's see. Yeah. In the connection here, uh, connection configuration, so pg underscore pool. So that's the name of the pool at this point, pg underscore pool, all right? All right, so at this point, we are almost done, except that we need to add one more item, and this item is simply something we are going to view our results of the test. So this is called a listener. So let's just add a listener. So add listener and just say view result tree. Now the other kind of result you can view like tabular result. And there is also something called um, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome report, JMeter awesome report that comes on a web page of different colors of graph, really beautiful graphs. I'm going to cover this in another lesson. Just subscribe uh, to my channel to get updates. So at this point, we already have everything we need. So I'm going to fire up this um, test and let's see. For some reason, it seems that PostgreSQL should be running for this test to work. But I can't remember, but I'm going to just fire it up by clicking on this green button. So I'm going to click. So we should be able to see, I can see there is, there is it's actually running, but it's not able to connect to to PostgreSQL. So it says relation telescope data does not exist. Uh, that is, yeah. So it seems to me that we need to, the, the, the PostgreSQL should actually be, and it's actually running. So it says telescope data 
does not exist. So let's see. Okay, so at this point, if I go to telescope data and I say, for instance, let's say, um, let's say query tool, query tool, let's say view ID data, um, say, okay, let's say uh, query tool, okay, let's use query tool and let's try to use the select statement exactly the way it will be used at this point. Um, just give me a second. Just come here. Okay, scripts. Let's use scripts. So let's say select so that it can give us the exact select statement that we can use. So, hmm, yeah, so you can see the select statement right here. So let's just take it exactly the way it is here and then take it across the JMeter. So I'm going to go back to JMeter. I'm going to, for now, I'm going to clear up everything by clicking on this button here, clear everything. So let's go back to the JDB serial files and let's go to, instead of using what we already have here, let me just face this exact uh, select statement that we got from PostgreSQL. I'm going to save it at this point and I'm going to go to re view results tree and I'm going to click on run. So let's see if we have the results. Now you can see the result has, is coming out uh, green. So it means that the result of the test actually passed. All right. So if you click on this result, one of them, you'll know that the interesting thing is that you can actually see the result of the select statement. You can see the actual data comes back to JMeter, meaning that the performance test is actually a real authentic test that works. So uh, it's kind of taking some time. So let's allow, okay, yeah. So you can see trade name, trade group one, two, load time, connect time. If you go to request, you can see the request. Now you can go to response data and you can see the data that is coming from PostgreSQL right here, as you can see. So this is how to set up uh, performance test with JMeter for PostgreSQL. I'd like you to remind you, remind you to subscribe to my channel and also if you have challenges let me know by leaving a comment uh, below i remain kind on the tech pro and we'll see you in the next lesson